All right, welcome back to Spycraft, the great game. Part six, I believe, on this Let's Play. I'm Stefan Scott. Where were we? I think we have done everything. Case Officer Thorne. We could welcome do. to Interlink. This is super loud still. So I was just going through the audio on the first couple videos because I've done a few of these before I've published any and I realized the game audio is way too loud so I'm gonna try to fix that in post but uh, FYI if that is an issue it will be fixed starting around this video so sorry okay let's just confirm mission directives Moscow, for case Moscow, officer Thor. Moscow perfect nothing we are heading to Moscow. Now, how do I do this? There's a question. Next disk. What was that key command? Shift command right. Okay. Perfect. Case Officer Thorne. Welcome to Interlink. Tommy's in town. Guessing that means Harmonica is in Moscow, but sure, David. Have fun. Just pulled Harmonica's passport for UK immigration. <laughs> Harmonica's in Moscow. Watch your backside. My back or my backside? Which one? Very strange. Lang has also been on the Harmonica trail, but our boy Phillips isn't the only one. Blah, blah, blah. Take a glance at Newslink. Will do. All right, I haven't, did we watch these? I don't remember if we watched these or if that was in that video that I had to scrub. Let's find out. I don't wanna make you guys watch them again. No, we haven't seen these yet, all right. Then let's do that. News link. We're gonna see our favorite reporter, Bernard Croft. Uh, this is how you order news online in the future you click on it and then it emails you a video a little later i'm not sure okay hi bernard president brooks is readying for a trip to moscow in a few days to sign the end treaty with russian president alexander polyakov many see the end treaties as a welcome relief to the russian nuclear arms problem alexander polyakov welcomes the joint denuclearization policy Others, such as presidential candidate Arkady Trebanov, see the treaty as a weakening of Russian might. Trebanov said, it is an outrage that Russia's own president will sign away Russian security for a few dollars, and the Russian people must not let Polyakov auction away their strength to the highest bidder. Yeah. President Brooks' visit to Russia will include a tour of Moscow, a presidential gala, and to quote President Brooks himself, a few days of R&R. Perfect. Sources in Moscow say there was a break-in at a nuclear facility north of the city sometime in the past several days. Russian military officials confirmed the break-in, but deny that nuclear materials may have been taken. Intelligence sources suspect Russian mafia involvement. Russian black marketeers, in league with the thriving Russian mafia, frequently steal food and medical supplies for resale to a beleaguered public. It now appears they are moving into the more lucrative arms business. All right, good. I think last video I referenced that nuclear threat looms again video, not realizing I hadn't shown it to you guys yet. So there's that. All right, let's head to the station. Here's the alley. There will be several things we can do in the alley. Um, not right now, though. Um, it's pretty early, but I'm going to drop a save here for a reason. Hi, I'm Max Foster. Hi, Max Foster. We have Ying in the interrogation chamber downstairs. She's waiting for you. Thanks. I hope you get the information you need. Thanks, Max. Give me a call in the intercom if you need anything. 
Okay, so actually, we're going to change that. We're going to save this again now. Um, so we want to, as I think I mentioned last time, um, what am I saying? Are there two R's in that? No idea. Um, yes, I will come back and do the torture approach later. I'll show you the bullpen real quick so you can see it. So this is the bullpen. The neurosynaptic stimulator, I believe. And yeah, we will torture her there later. In the meantime, let's head to the interrogation room. Okay, now, clearly our whole approach has to be based off of that picture. And we know she's, you know, hardened. She's been trained. She's a North Korean operative. So we're not just going to do the you want to get out of here bullshit. Here we go. Perfect. I'm listening. Go away, I1 profiler. Really hope that's not captured on screen. But if it is, I apologize. And I'm making it go away now. Okay. If you hurt him, he'll be avenged. Okay. I think that was actually the wrong question to ask, but that's fine. Or statement to make, whatever. What are my choices? Okay. Speak up, or Grindel goes to a gulag for life. I'm listening. Good. Okay, now here's your chance to use off that message you decoded. Now, so you have a couple options. Grindel sold you out. Not a good choice. She clearly loves him. Grindel's talking. This is your only chance to come clean. Better. Grindel's talking, Raven. Something we learned from that message. I'm listening. That's good. Da, da, da. Again, she does not want revenge on Grendel. She loves Grendel. Don't don't ask that. Go with this. What do you want to know? Lots of things. Who do you work for? Make sure you uh, listen out for what this word means in Russian, because it's the only time you'll hear it in the game. I've done some contract work for a group called ProCat. It's a paycheck. A big paycheck. Oh, she hasn't said yet. I don't know anything else. I told you I don't know anything more! Can I go now? No, you haven't told me shit. I was to steal and deliver the peg to Felix Scotty in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. He's a real jerk. He tried to kiss me. I nearly killed him. Now I may have. That's creepy. All of that's creepy. Really on both sides. Moving on. I don't know anything else. Ready to get her to yell again? I told you I don't know anything more! So I've heard. Can I go now? Rather not, but sure. Okay, and sorry about that, I was wrong. She didn't tell you what ProCat means in Russian. Uh, I was preempting a joke, because once we do learn what it means, we will learn what it means about 37 times, but... Case Officer Thorne. I jumped the gun. Welcome Apologies. to Interlink. Alright, Max, what do you got for me? Stop by my office when you get the chance. I got birdsong stuff and a contact at the SVR. Perfect, which can help track down those really stock characters in that photograph. Something strange happened here. I looked up a file on ProCat, but the information had been hidden by David Holt. What? This is weird. Track down an expanded file that made more sense. Put it on a case file. What was Holt thinking? Okay, well this is weird. Controlled access authenticated. Okay. Power oh, play compartment accessed. ProCat. 
Linking to Office of Information Resources. Ooh, Archives are available. File. Ying, we've learned about her. Grendel, we've read Federal his thing. Armonica, we've Phillips. read his thing. Melnikov, there's a new name. Melnikov. Nikolai. Nikolai. Photo classified? That's not helpful. One time colonel in the first chief directorate. Ah, the butcher of Jalalabad. Founded Procat, which means for hire in his native language. There we go. There's the first time we get to learn learn that. It means for hire in Russian. His final days were spent in Thailand, was attempting to establish a financial network, killed by a car bomb planted by John Blake. Operation Paw Print carried out with CIA assist assistance. Okay, let's look these folks up. John Blake, photo also classified, but we do have his phone number, which is good. Do, do, do. He's a specialist in something. I think killing, I guess. Um, da, da, da. He was tortured and never forgave Melnikov. Completed his original mission of killing him. <coughs> okay. Paw print written by David Holt. Holt, David Marcus. Our friend. Alias Scout. Okay. Order to land at a CIA airstrip. John Blake. Blah, blah, blah. Should have known something was up. We entered without incident and camped for the night. And he was going to set the bomb. Uh, he had a meeting. Then he blew up. And John Blake apparently had PTSD and ran away. And David Holtz said he killed him. Okay. Oh, uh, compartment overlord. Level critic. This is an awesome image. I really hope the CIA has images like this in real life. Overlord compartment. Okay. Operation persuasion. Simon Crow? Crowe? Cree? Maybe, maybe it's German. Cree. I can't say it. I can't German. I'm trying to say no with an umlaut over it if that's unclear, but it's not good. Okay, moving on. Procat sponsored facilitator known for his creative use of sounds to persuade his subjects. So he's a torturer, pretty much. He abducted an oil baron. Do do do. Pierre Kinsey. Kinsey. Look at this Pierre. guy. That dude's really shifty looking. Um, okay. Unnamed Saudi Arabian girl having cocktails in Jerusalem. Okay. And the emir is now deaf, and he gave his money to Procat. Perfect. Next. This dude with bad hat blew up the Matrix Complex. Okay. APAC oil, standard fertilizer bomb. Okay, it was a Nigerian terrorist working for Procat, employed by Pierce McDougall. McDougall Pierce. Hello, McDougall Pierce. His child, who's only three, has the nickname of Sluggo. That's good to know. Uh, he doesn't. Oh, he does have smellyuses. Red Barney, Mighty Grip, and Owned? Owned. Do, do, do. He subscribes to an ancient Celtic religion. Good. Okay. John the Baptist, classified courier in Buenos Aires, prepares to deliver the head of a Colombian cartel to his family members. I don't care, whatever. Do Nikolai Melnikov had people beheaded. Perfect. Head was a count. Oh, and then he had his. No, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, a note from someone known as Mirage, which we know. Approximately nothing about. Rumored to be the current head of Procat. He or she seems to run the organization from a computer, sending out directions to agents over the internet. Wave of the future. 
Muzzle. Uh, some guy campaigning for human rights in Vietnam, then was in Georgia. I guess that's Georgia in the U.S. Bulldog, I guess. I uh, went back to Vietnam and then got arrested and then he was killed. I don't, Kasha, I don't understand. Raphael. Why did this giant global terrorist organization kill some random dissident who was arrested? But whatever. Seems like a low money job. Here's Raphael Kasha, also known as Shad Bark. <laughs> I'm going to call him Shad Bark because that's... That's a good name for him. Hi, Shadbark. And he has a mistress named GG Prière, which is good. Um, boop do. He is a money launderer. And he does. He lies and has sex. Good. Good guy. I like this guy. Shadbark. Good job. And we're moving. Last one is Vigilance. The Sealy Tech Chip Corporation got their equipment stolen by Jean. Jean? Jean? Murphy. Probably... Jean. Jean. Perfect. Jean Murphy stole their microprocessor or something. And yeah. He's an FBI guy who was under suspension and then left and did some shady stuff. Perfect. Okay, so there's some info about Procat. Let's go back to... Wow, that is a small file. Small criminal ring headed by ex-KGB operative Nikolai Melnikov. Uh, formed when he was fired from the KGB. Occasionally for hire, except the name means for hire in Russian. Uh, the few remaining members apparently scattered. And then, oh. Moments after the terrorist attack on the World Trade Center. That's the original one. Could this man work for Procat? Probably not. Hey, it means for hire in Russian. It's allegedly a brotherhood of disgruntled operatives. Okay. We've already read most of this. David is skeptical that they still exist because he witnessed the death of Melnikov with Blake. Blah, blah, blah. Information. It's Warhurst. Hi. Jamie has patched us into the image database so that I can talk you through this. Thanks, Jamie. We just received these from the ATF. Those people had no leads until you captured Ying. This is where the peg fell into Scotty's hands, and probably Harmonica's. Abandoned warehouse in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. That's Felix Scotty, the arms dealer Ying told you about. I don't think Been he's a heroin doing so broker well. and a money launderer, but gun running is his first love. His buyers usually end up like this. The ATF has been watching Scotty for months, but he slipped away after this deal went sour. Thorn, I'm afraid that's not the half of it. Scotty killed these men without firing a shot. Marco Fabrizi, apparently the middleman. He and his partners all died of massive coronary arrest. <coughs> At least that's what the medical examiner says. And there were no bullets or bullet holes to be found. Nothing. I realize it sounds impossible, but you already know about silent kills. This new weapon gets the same results with no projectile at all. Looks like he rested it there. And use this for power. Check your ATF web link for a report from the lead agent. He says there was a... Let's see here. Uh, ah, a concentrated high-frequency burst at the scene before they moved in. Scotty escaped here. He was killed later, just outside Minsk. Thorn, this new weapon is out there. Probably in Harmonica's hands. I don't need to tell you what that means. I've circulated these pictures via Interpol and the State Department. Right now, Harmonica is the most wanted man in the world. Good luck out there. All right. 
Access to the report over here. Jamie, you want to know about Felix Scotty? He was out of our line of sight until your analysts alerted us to his activities in Little Odessa. He's shipped, quote-unquote, goods to the IRA, Pakistani nationals living in Virginia, not to mention some reliable supplies for mobsters. Bensonhurst was supposed to be our big takedown, but our listening devices were fried by a concentrated high-frequency burst, as Warhurst said, just before we moved in. Our receivers recorded it, then exploded at 477 and 5 tenths megahertz on the meter. Scott used the distraction to get away, kept talking about Pyramid, which I believe is Italian for pyramid. Man, they don't give you enough cr a credit for your deductive work, Agent Haskell. I've included a data link that cross-checks with the weapons database. Okay. Clicky, clicky, Access clicky. Granted. The pyramid, one of Russia's only truly secret weapons, is a silent and very deadly device. Uh-oh. The pyramid fires soundlessly, no visible wound, no blood, no bone fragments, no bullets, no evidence. No one has ever been able to establish that victims died from anything other than an artifact. The existence of Nazar has never been confirmed by the KGB or the SVR. Pyramid was photographed by a deep cover CIA agent. Interesting. How it works. Well, first of all, it looks stupid. Here's some bullshit. It's got a charge coil and a base capacitor and an amplification horn. Oh yeah, this is this is real. This is real stuff. Perfect. All right, da, da, da. pioneering research at the University of Riga. Pyramid compresses a blood. This is all bullshit. It shoots electricity at a very specific frequency, and then people have a heart attack and die. It's easily concealed. Can be hidden inside of devices like radios or camcorders. Awesome. Do uh, they're slipping? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Jamie Seaton just showed me the files on Procat. The more I think about it, the more frightening it is. Organization run by spies. One of our own could be working for, as their mole. I don't like the odds. Jamie is already getting. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks, Pete. Hi, Bell. This is where we stand. We've eliminated most of the low level agency employees from the list of possible moles. But that's not surprising. Our mole has access, directly or otherwise, to high-level information. I'll keep you informed. Thanks, Bill. Updated Eclipse. Only formal channels. Access outside the normal chain is not displayed. The mole could be getting information from a friend, lover, or as a result of blackmail. All right, bear that in mind. We will examine some possibilities there. Let's actually take a look at Eclipse real quick. I don't believe I really showed that off before. I'm just going to ignore everything that's happening. We'll get to that envelope in the PDA later. Let's just play with Eclipse to close this video out. All right, so this is Eclipse. It is basic, shut the fuck up. It is basically that org chart that we saw earlier. Um, and we can click into it, which is a new, well, no, we can't. In a minute, we'll be able to click into it. But the neat new feature is we can see who knows about things. So the mole would have to be someone who had access to the ProCat file. Bloop. So that would be DCI Sterling, obviously. Sterling, Peter Reed. There he is. That would also be certain people within operations and certain people within admin. But sadly, no one in the interactive entertainment division. All right, uh, if we look at who knew about the peg, now still the DCI, obviously, still some people within operations, though I think it's the same people in operations, actually. Uh, but this time, S&T people versus administration people. So you can go in here and look around like it's unlikely that anyone in s and I'm sorry, we have a project called Blamo. Anyway, it's unlikely that, like, Peter Hanlon. Hanlon. Peter. Uh, knew anything about Procat, so it's probably not him. He has no operations log or support personnel either. He has a, he, he has a strong beard game, though. 
Okay, and again, it's unlikely anyone in administration is involved either, since they would not have known about the peg. Again. Menor Samuel. Red Robin. Yum. Um, you know, of course it's possible, like, he could have learned something from D.D. Warhurst, who is listed as a friend of his. But, for right now, we're kind of assuming... Also, these positions within their Management Information Systems Division is awesome. They have one tech, and then two guys who name things. One guy who spends all of his time defragging things, and then a guy who designs email forms. That's a great layout, gentlemen. Anyway, most likely is operations. So, we've got, Warhurst, of course, Eugene Joseph. Eugene Warhurst. Of course, he knows about what's going on. He's working on our case. Blah, blah, blah. Most recently, before he was DDO, he was the advisor on that long list of things. As we've noted before, he's been a career man with the agency. Russian Ops. So different people in the Russian division knew about Procat. Grinald, Greg. Okay. Versus knew about the Peg. Collins, Steve. Alias Julius. That's a good alias. I need a better alias. All right, moving back. Okay, Special Ops. Now we're down, diving into our own operation, Eagle Shield. Boop -doo. Again, we have different people here. We've got David, who of course knew about Procat. Holt, he was there. David. And then for the peg... Milkovsky. Francis Lawrence. His aliases are classified, apparently. That's interesting. Um, he, of course, knew about it. We knew that because he helped uh, Dr. Cohen do the site testing stuff. And Jamie apparently Seaton. knew about it. Jamie Ann. Through some of the S&T background she has. Um, so what this tells us, basically, is it's either one of these sort of core P P P people, which, you know, they're hard to track, and it's somewhat unlike, likely that anyone that higher up is the mole. Um... Also, I'm pretty sure it's not Bill Colby, because he... It's not Bill Colby. But these other folks. Um, so what that tells us is, like, if it's someone else here, they have to have a connection. So, like, since David's the only one who knows about Procat, he would have to be in a relationship with Jamie, or he would have to be getting blackmailed by Milkovsky, or whatever it is, to tell that information to them in order for them to actually be our mole. So, that is the Eclipse tool and how you use it. Like I said earlier, it's not really ever conclusive, but it can give you some insight. With that said, we are going to end this video of Let's Play Spycraft The Great Game, Part 6. I'm Stefania and Scott. Cheers.